El Shaddai International Christian Center, London, is a community of people who are passionate about sharing the love, hope, goodness, and purpose of God to our generation. The El Shaddai, I see, is a prophetic church. It's a church with healing in their wings. It's a church that just don't know how to worship, but knows how to take free the word of God to a generation. It's a church that is vested and founded on revelation knowledge. It's a church that will prophesy life to a dying world. We are a multicultural church with over a thousand members from more than 55 different nations. Our meetings are family oriented with vibrant, extravagant worship and inspiring practical teaching from God's word. It would be our pleasure to welcome you to this family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for joining us once again on today's broadcast. It's a joy for me to once again come into your homes and continue to teach the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ as we endeavor to find out what is rightly ours because of our covenant. Today we are beginning a new series that we are calling Getting Results by the Word of God. I want you saints to understand that the will of God for us as believers is not to just read the word and philosophize about it or indeed debate or treat it like some academic exercise, but that as we get the word of God, we can begin to see the manifestation of that word in our lives because the word must become flesh and dwell among us. So today as we study this subject, knowing that you can stake your whole life on the integrity of God's word, I pray that your faith will be quickened and you will step out in order to see and receive the end of your faith. And I look forward to seeing you after the broadcast. If you say it is settled, that means there are no more outstanding issues with this matter. So God said, forever the word is settled. Now let's, let's just give you some illustrations so you can gain concept. If you can find it in the word that by his stripes you are healed, that means that is settled. There's no more debate. I don't care if medical science hasn't discovered a cure. I don't care if this is a different strain of the swine flu. The healing is already established. It is settled. There's no more debates. There's no more equivocation. There's no more research needs to take place. Healing is already established because forever the word on healing is settled. If you can find it in the word, that wealth and riches will be in your health. I don't care if you never saw the inside of a classroom. There was nothing about education put in there. He just said, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. If you fear the Lord, then wealth and riches can be in your house. And it is what? Settled. Here is, here is what, what we used to make the mistake of saying. You know, We used to say, the word of God says it. I believe it, and that settles it. No, no, that's a lie. Whether or not you believe it, it is settled. See, this is where we get confused. Uh, before I understood this, for example, if I wasn't feeling completely well, I, I felt like I can't preach on healing. No, that's dumb. Because the word of God is not true because of me. Even if I'm sick, he is still a healer. Don't shout me down. So, so I can't back off from preaching that God is a healer even if my nose is running because the healing is not dependent on what you're looking at. It's dependent on what is settled in heaven. Hallelujah. Somebody said, why do you preach the word regardless of what's going on? In it? It's not based on my life. It's based on what is settled. Okay, okay, okay. Now somebody might say, well, bless God, you can't say that. No, 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 I'm talking on his behalf. If he told you, great is the peace of your kids, even if they are high right now, great will be the peace of your children and in righteousness they shall be established and the generation of the upright shall be mighty upon the earth. You look at your kids and say you are mighty upon the earth. Okay, okay, okay. Why? Because it is forever settled in heaven. <laughs> Doesn't that just bring some joy to your house? 
He told you you were going to be the head and not the tail. You may be sweeping the ladder that others are climbing on right now. But the fact that you are going to not only climb the ladder, but own the ladder is already settled. So you better believe that and act like it is so. It's forever settled. Now notice where it is settled. In heaven. Oh, bless God, what if they don't like me? I don't give a rat. The place where my destiny has been settled, they can go there. And when they get there, they will find that Jehovah is God. And since he believes he's God, nobody can intimidate him. Since nobody elected him, nobody can impeach him. So he does everything after the counsel of his own will. Whatever, whoever he wants to bless, he's going to bless whether or not you don't like it. And that is settled in heaven. He said, Jacob I loved and Esau I hated. Before the boys even came out of the womb, God sovereignly decided which one is going to bless. Okay, 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 come on. See, that, that's a New Testament doctrine that we theologians call the election of grace that, that most New Testament believers haven't dealt with because we want, we want everything to be equal. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone because we have to build that before we get you confused about God. <laughs> God can, can, can overlook a whole crowd, and this is what annoys religious people. He will leave all the people that got it together and point to the prostitute in Jericho. And say, I don't care about the ones who were sacrificed. I want Rahab. The same one that they lost. That's the one I'm going to use. And I'm, I'm not just going to use her. I will dignify her to the point where they said she was a prostitute. But I'll let my son come through her womb. How do you like that? God left all the virgins and used the prostitute. That's why you can't box God in who he can use. He said on that without asking you and I. See, that's why I want you to understand there are some things about your life, some blessings, some anointing, some callings, some stuff about your life that he has already settled regardless of what other people think about you. And it ain't going to change because the blessings, the gifts and callings of God, they are without repentance. <laughs> so you ain't gonna apologize for not being perfect he said you didn't choose me I chose you now I thank God that my neighbor went doing the choosing cause if it was up to some of y'all your neighbor would be on the bench but thank God you made the first team because Jehovah was doing the picking. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> and it is forever. Say it in heaven. That's why, that's why a lot of people don't like you because, because the stuff they have to work hard to crawl and earn and do this, God just decided, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to see this on Sunday when we deal with the fullness of the blessing. They had to work hard and they had to do this and they had to, to connive and kiss somebody's tail. But, but God just decided to drop it for you. Okay, okay, okay. Like, like Ruth, everybody else were working, but he said, no, 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 just drop some stuff for her. She don't have to go through the whole process. Because he settled it in heaven. See, some people have had to pay 30 years to own a house. But God can give you houses that you didn't build. And it is up to him to decide. They can change that. When I'm getting in my 40s and I don't have a house, it won't take you 30, 40 years like everybody else. Before you're 50, you will have your own house. Not just your own house, but one not, one, not, not just a house that is prayed for, but one that is paid for. It don't take God a lifetime to do some things. See, some of you just couldn't catch that I just released a house and you, you missed that, I'll take that. 
Somebody going to call you and say, let me go and introduce you to your new home. Hey! <laughs> let me have the privilege to introduce you, to make the introduction and make your acquaintance with your new house. But if you can think it, he can do exceedingly abundantly above you. I can think that. No, no, this is just shut up. Just shut your mouth. It ain't gonna happen. But if you can think it, every day you wake up, this might be the day when my Lamborghini will ride out of God. Hallelujah. When my jet shows up, go right out of God. Are you listening to me? Somebody say, well, why, why, if you are a cleaner, why would you need a jet? So, so, so that I can preach on the weekend in any nation. I finish work at three in the afternoon, get in my jet, and, and preach in Birmingham and be back home to go clean again, because it's, the job don't make me, I do that because I like it. Okay, 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 okay. But the word is forever said. Go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. And, oh my God, man. I preach myself happy. Hey, amen. I preach myself happy. Hebrews chapter 4. Suki, suki now. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4. Now what I want you to know is that uh, the word is not just settled. It is spiritual law, uh, uh, just like there is the law of gravity and in, you know, Newton's three laws of motion and the law of relativity and the, the laws of thermodynamics and, 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 and the laws of electricity. The, the, the word of God is spiritual law. <laughs> and, and as spiritual law, the word of God governs. It governs the operation of some things. And if you can get a hold of the law that governs a particular thing, you can harness the benefits that it relates to. Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. I don't know what situation you got, but if you can find it in the Word that there's a way out, the first thing you need to do is to conceive the Word, and now it's just a matter of time. You are on your way to money. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Nottingham on the 11th of February, Bradford on the 25th of February, Edinburgh on the 21st of April, Cardiff on the 9th of June, Birmingham on the 21st of July, Manchester on the 18th of August, Sheffield on the 22nd of September. Loughborough on the 20th of October. You were born healed. You were born sound. You were born to be the head and not the tail. You were born for everything you touch to turn to gold. You were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle and not be beneath but above only. Glory to God. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270. Email info at elshaddaitoday.com or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. Somebody recorded that, that all of New York was bought for $1,700. $1,700, all of New York, they sold the city of New York for $1,700. $1,700. Today, the city by itself is worth over $17 trillion dollars. Okay, it's, it's coming up to 200 and something years. But that's not a bad return. In 200 years. That's why I want you to start thinking in 10-year chunks. 
Because your five pound today, let's, let's just use an example. I want you to start thinking differently, not just as, as consumers, you are investors. The, those of you that, that, that bought the iPod when it first came out, and you spent 400 pounds on the doggone thing. If you had taken that 400 pounds and bought shares in Apple, today they would have been worth over 40 thousand pounds and how long have you had the iPod five six years five years later your 400 pounds would have become 40,000 pounds so you've been cut off from 39,600 pounds in five years for lack of knowledge And you say, there is no money. There is money. It's just ignorance of the laws that govern multiplication. If you got kids and you just put 20 pounds aside, invest it into their college fund. Find somebody who knows how to manage a mutual fund. For 18 years. You won't have to be sending them protesting because all their tuition will have been paid for because every week you just set aside 10 to 20 pounds for their tuition. But you are cut off because in your mind, you got to find 30,000 today when if you started looking for it 10 years ago, you would have had more than enough. Am I challenging your thinking? Yes, sir. There are so many things that we've been cut off because they told you it's just innocent to buy a coffee every day. You are not at the place where you can buy a coffee every day. That three pounds, if you invest it every day for the next 15 years, you won't have to be like 95% of the population who at 65 are so broke they can't even write a check and can't afford to retire. But in their mind, they never had any money. No, you had it. You just had a mochaccino. <laughs> Boy, I'm preaching bad. And, and these are laws that govern life. Satan wants you to think you are a victim. Here is one of the most sobering truths I ever discovered. At any point in life, you have enough. You have enough to do the next thing that God is calling you to do. That's why, even with the blessing, we're going to find out. He said, a faithful man shall abound with blessings. In other words, somebody that knows how to be consistent is the one that won't have an intermittent flow of blessing, but they will have blessings in perpetuity. Perpetual blessing, a daily manifestation of the blessing, will be the product of knowing what to do every day and doing it regardless of how you feel. Hallelujah. So when, when, when it comes to the word of God, this is the problem with Christians. We, we, we do it on Sunday, but by Monday we forget. Here is how you and I are created. We are a spirit. Let me, let me just go towards the end and then we'll come back. This, 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 is, this is the end. See, you remember the word is incorruptible seed? Yes. Why do you have seed? Thank you. Why do you have seed? Come on, talk back to me. Why do we have seed? It's not a difficult, profound question. It's just simple. Let's try again. Why do you have seed? Okay, so what happens when you sow? Reap. You reap. And do you reap exactly what you sowed? No. What, how, how big is the harvest? Bigger than the what? Seed. So, so if the word is the seed, then the word is given for a harvest. And if you sow the word, it's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. So here is what I want you to see. The word has been given so that as we saw the word, you remember the Amplified said it was the sperma. 
it, it, is, it is given to give life to your egg. You're believing your faith is the egg. The word is the sperma. And what should happen is every time the word collides with the faith that you have about your dream, something should be conceived. And if you continue to get the word and are constantly pregnant with the seed of the word of God, eventually every day is delivery time. You got to give birth to something that you conceived 10, 20 years ago. The trouble is we conceive once every five years as Christians. Somebody says, why do I need to go to church even if I don't feel like it? Because the sperma will be distributed. I need to fertilize my egg, my vision. And even if, oh, we're going to get to this. You remember Ecclesiastes 11? He said, you don't know. Like, you don't know how the, the very sperm and the egg can turn into bones and eyeballs. You go to Ecclesiastes 11, then we'll come back to Hebrews. Because you see, some of you are so confused. I need to know how. No, 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 no. You're jumping steps, baby. Come back. Come back over here. Just bring your egg. <laughs> Look at verse 4. Ecclesiastes 11. He who observes the wind will not sow. See, that's why the devil wants you to, I, I, I can't afford to tithe. No, listen. You can't afford not to tithe. I know that don't sound good to you, but listen, listen. It doesn't sound good to you if you are content to stay struggling. But when you get tired of having more month left than money, then you're going to say, let me try this God stuff. Yes, sir. I can't afford to carry unforgiveness. We were working on some things. I said, no, 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 no. Cancel all those things. I'm not carrying stuff from last year into next year. I told them, just cut it off. I'm not revisiting anything from last year. I'm working on too much. Because those are the thorns that choke the word. I'm trying to believe the word and something else comes up in my Cut it off. But, but you, have to be, you have to be what? Consistent. Because look at this. He says, he who observes the wind, he will not sow. And he who regards the clouds, Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 4, will, will not reap. As you don't know what the way of the wind is or how the bones grow in the womb of our who is with child, so you don't know the works of God who makes everything. Who makes everything. Now, look at this. He says, he says there are a lot of things you'll never understand. You will never understand how the legs grew out of those two little things. I'm so glad you could join us for today's broadcast. I believe that the word that God has given us to preach does make a difference in your life. But today we want to ask you to pray about becoming a vision partner with our ministry, helping us take the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. You know, the scripture says that the Lord gave the word, but great was the company of those that published it. And as you help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Bible talks about receiving the prophet's reward. That means for every life that is changed, every life that is delivered, every life that is made whole, all the restoration that takes place as a result of these broadcasts, God will credit it to your heavenly account. And so if you would like to become a partner with us, please call us or email us. Go to our website and make a donation so that we can continue to preach the gospel and make a mark on our generation that can never be erased. And so until next time, this is Ramson Mumba reminding you that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, you get wisdom and in all of your getting, get understanding. 
God bless. Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. I don't know what situation you got, but if you can find it in the Word that there's a way out, the first thing you need to do is to conceive the Word, and now it's just a matter of time. You are on your way to manifestation. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Nottingham on the 11th of February, Bradford on the 25th of February, Edinburgh on the 21st of April, Cardiff on the 9th of June, Birmingham on the 21st of July, Manchester on the 18th of August, Sheffield on the 22nd of September, Loughborough on the 20th of October. You were born healed. You were born sound. You were born to be the head and not the tail. You were born for everything you touch to turn to gold. You were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle and not be beneath but above only. Glory to God. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270. Email info at elshaddaitoday.com or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. Thank you for watching Get Understanding. For information about our ministries or to download our free podcasts, visit us at www.elshaddaitoday.com.